Good evening to all my Oxford Junior College students of 11th class. Today, in the first session, which will be helpful to you on Oxford Junior College site, which we are going to launch very soon, what we will do is we will post these videos on the website so that if you have missed the lectures of any subject, you can go on the website portal and go through this video so that you can understand the chapter the way you should. This missing of Zoom online classes could happen because of network issue or any other issue. But because of that issue, Oxford Junior College doesn't want you to suffer and hence this remedial step is being taken by the Oxford Junior College management and committee. So let's go to the chapter. This is chapter 1 from Hornbill, English Core, 11th class. This chapter is, the title is The Portrait of a Lady. The portrait of a lady is basically a story between of relationship between a grandson and a grandmother. It is not only a story about relationship, but it is also a portrait of a lady. When I say portrait, basically it means that some kind of a picture imagination. But here in Kushwan Singh as an author, who is also the grandson in this story, it's an autobiographical story. In this story, what he does is, he will paint an image through words. So this summary might help you to understand in a brief way about the art that Kushwan Singh, who is renowned for his writings, he was the editor of Illustrated Weekly and he has received so many awards also for his literary works. But if you are not reading the entire chapter, trust me, you will not know his sense of humor, his imagery, his usage of literary devices, his language. So, the summary is okay, but the whole chapter really has to be there. Point number one. Now coming to the portrait of a lady. As a child, they were in village. His mother, father were in city because of some job. But he was been left with his grandmother in the village as a young kid. And what he saw of his grandmother was a old, fat, bent, short lady. And when people used to tell him that she was a very pretty lady, he, the idea revolted him. No, my grandmother is like this child is thinking, looking at the world with his own view, he made this my grandmother has always been like this. Further it's been, his idea has been enhanced or uh, stampified by the portrait of his grandfather with beard, long beard, big turban. He doesn't seem to him, this child, he doesn't seem to him a man who was ever young or married or had children or life. Different perspectives are coming into picture. Young child. White, white clothes, white hair. And this lady is beautiful, but not pretty. Beautiful in the sense that she is very good in nature. Her attitude is beautiful. But pretty, sorry, that's what. And that lady is serving him, giving him bath, taking him to the school, preparing his stiffen or his breakfast, preparing his bag, chanting. Most of the time she is bidding the rosary. And uh, she is busy with uh, 
her life, but she is taking care of this child and wants that the mantras to be learnt by him, which Kushwan Singh never learned. But he never disrespected her chanting because he loved his her voice, his grandmother's voice. So this is the first stage. They go to the school with the chapatis and the dogs are being feeded with that stale chapatis. Stale chapati with butter is the breakfast of Kushwan Singh. It is the breakfast of dogs also. No discrimination over there. Okay, now the school is near the temple. The grandmother sits in the temple. The priest is the teacher who teaches them the basic elementary teaching of the subjects. This is the village life. Now comes the turning point. The turning point has now come. The turning point is that now this boy will go to an English school in a motor car, in a bus which will fit, take him and drop him as it happens nowadays in the cities. So grandmother is not much needed in in the village, she was teaching him, but here Archimedes principle, algebra, all these things, English language, she doesn't know anything about it. And she is very much angry when one day he announces that music is in, is been taught in uh, our school. For grandmother, English is, uh, music is bad. Lewd, obscene, music is made for harlots and beggars. It's not for gentle folk, it's not for gentlemen, it's not for good people, it's for lower category, lower class people. That's what her thinking is. Now comes the point of generation gap. Here comes the society is changing and so is life. And people need to change with the time. This is the message of Kushman Singh. Not much is done. Same room in which they stay, but the talking has gone down. There is nothing to talk. What to talk? So the grandmother is busy in bidding her rosary and feeding the sparrows. No dogs. No going to the temple. No dogs. So sparrows are been fed with the crumbs of chapati in the afternoon time. And then comes the third point. From village to city, now this Kushwan Singh has passed the school and now he is going abroad for higher education. And everybody is worried that uh, grandmother is already so old and five years he will be out of India. If he come, when he comes back, you can tell whether the grandmother would be alive or not. No. But the grandmother knows. She can tell. And hence, when she is coming to the airport to bid him goodbye, she is not crying or weeping or something of that which the normal lady will do. She is stoic. She is not sentimental. She is firm. She just kisses on his forehead and bids him goodbye with some chants in the ears of the author, Kushwan Singh. Five years finishes, he comes back. Grandmother is right. She is the same old lady which he left, whom he left. She is the same old lady whom he left. She is not changed. She is the same. Same life is going on. Not much of talking again, but celebration times because the grandson has come. How she does it, she one day, she is busy with her rosary and everything like that. But now one day she calls all the neighborhood ladies and starts beating the drums and singing warrior songs. The return of the warrior and the welcoming of the warrior who has come back from a war. This is her way of uh, telling Krishnan Singh in her own style that 
the relationship from close knit to okay friendship to almost nothing might have changed but the love is very much there and that is the basic point the other point which kushwan singh the great 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 writer is trying to tell us through this autobiographical story of his grandmother which he titles as the portrait of a lady the next day after the singing and all the grandmother falls ill she is uh, having fever and uh, doctor say that she will get well but grandmother she says that it is her end of life and the, this end of life is going to happen very soon and i will not waste my time in talking to you i will just bid my rosary tell my rosary and i will talk to god because here comes my time to go back to god again the strength of that character peacefully she dies lot of pain is there lot of peace is there the rituals follow she has been brought down to the floor worn the red color and the funeral and the cremation is now going to take place and when her body is been tracked on a stretch on a stretcher through the courtyard the sparrows who used to be fed in the afternoon time are waiting the mother kushan singh's mother comes to know that they are missing their food she runs to the kitchen gets the chapatis crumbs it throws it to the sparrows but sparrows won't eat even the animals the birds understand the relationship of love that's the third point that kushan singh is trying to pin the crumbs next day the sweeper comes are been taken it's not that after the grandmother has gone the birds have gone selfish and have eaten it no love deep compassionate love so these are the main features point number 1 change in relationship point number 2 generation gap point number 3 love compassion that that is the portrait of a lady by kushan singh for all of you if any doubts are there your story is there to answer it on the website you can put a comment you can revisit if do the questions two three types of questions are there 20 30 word questions you should do 30 40 words questions you should do and long answer question of 100 120 words also you should do complete your copy without completing your copy the chapter is not over because writing the skills you would be examined because of your on your writing skills and you should know how to write the answer whatever i told you can you write it when a question has been answered what are the three phases in the chapter describe what kind of a lady was the grandmother of the author describe can you answer this type of questions if you can you are going in 11 in 12th class very soon but if you can't you need to work hard you will go to 12th class thank you very much have a nice time this is manish barkar saying bye